Hello everyone, this is Pal Pond Draw Weather. In this update, we're gonna be talking about an upper level low that's gonna bring a major flood risk and some severe weather to the central US and then colder conditions out west and then sudden summer out east. So if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. Uh, what we're looking at here is uh, this is Sunday, May the 16th. And I, here's a picture, I think, how this week is basically going to play out. We've got a powerful upper level low that's going to be just diving out here in the Four Corners region. Arc itself over Texas pretty much all week long. And it's going to be inundated with some major uh, flooding rains and some severe weather to the central U.S., and then we also have a, a trough that's going to be digging in out, out west. That's going to bring some much colder conditions for them. And then while a ridge builds to the north and eventually swings out east, which brings sudden summer for the eastern U.S. So here's the overall watches and warnings for today, uh, uh, Sunday. Here we got flash flood watches and, and, and that uh, the rain's already starting in Dallas and it's just going to be inundated all week long. We've got uh, flood watches for, for much of North Texas and getting into uh, Oklahoma City, uh, Oklahoma. But this is just going to be probably extended southward as the week goes on because I'm, I'm expecting a lot of rain. So let's take a look at the overall uh, setup for today. We basically have a, a, a mesoscale convective system that's moving in right now into Dallas. That's going to bring some heavier rains, about 80% of the 80% coverage uh, for North Texas. And that'll swing into uh, central Oklahoma as well with some very heavy rains. Uh, we do have some rains up here in uh, South Dakota, as well as getting into uh, Nebraska and uh, portions of Iowa. And then... Later on today, we do have that uh, slight risk for severe weather up here in the Texas Panhandle where there's going to be another system that's going to be forming more or less uh, out of, off the dry line into the evening hours. And that's going to be setting the stage for uh, some severe weather out here in the Texas Panhandle, uh, portions of uh, Colorado, uh, getting into portions of uh, Kansas as well. But pretty much all of Texas and Oklahoma getting into Kansas is going to be under a marginal risk. At least some sort, some severe weather for some of these storms could turn severe and producing uh, you know, some large hail uh, out of this event that's going in today. So as we move through tomorrow, again, it's just going to be a very active. There's going to another uh, MCS, another measure scale convective system going to be taking shape in the Texas, Texas Panhandle. That's going to be diving through tomorrow morning. This is probably going to bring some very strong winds along this band here uh, into uh, North Texas as this swings off into uh, East Texas. That'll extend into Arkansas, going into Missouri. And then as this dives down, there'll be a more activity form out, out west into the, into the afternoon, into the evening hours. And I think those will actually will turn uh, severe as well. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has already highlighted uh, that threat as well. Here is Monday, uh, May the 17th. There's your date right there. Uh, where that hatched risk too. So that hatch risk basically implies of uh, those storms could be golf ball size hail or greater within this within these areas of, of Lubbock, getting into Amarillo, uh, getting into Midland, Odessa, uh, San Angelo. They're no stranger to seeing this type of hail out there, and it's going to be on the table again uh, for Monday. Uh, but even going in towards uh, Abilene and to towards uh, Wichita Falls and into Midland, then it still extended in all the way into Houston, down into San Antonio, down into Austin, down to Fort Worth, much all of Dallas could be seeing some of those larger hailstones uh, fall out of the sky. It's just maybe not as prevalent as the ones that are going to be out, out here to the west. So uh, you're, not only for the rain, but you're also going to be dealing with that, uh, you know, uh, hail threat as well. And then you do have that tornado threat where that slight risk is. As we go into Tuesday, that's where I think these things really start to get active. The, the, the upper level low gets a little bit closer into Texas and so that day is just going to be inundated with some very heavy rain. We have numerous MCS, MC, MCS systems all across Texas. I mean, there's boundaries everywhere. I mean, a lot of the models have just three to five inches just in that day alone on Tuesday into Oklahoma, into Arkansas, into Louisiana. That pocket right there is just going to be crushed with some very, very heavy rain. 
and we could have some larger hail from uh, out of that uh, as well and then maybe an, in, an increased uh, tornado threat if it's not just so rain wrapped uh, the tornado threat might not be as prevalent just because there's so much rain uh, gonna be around in that area uh, so the storm prediction center has just broad brushed a marginal risk for this area for much of texas for tuesday but they could easily increase it to a slight risk uh, as things get a little bit looks like they get a little bit more active uh, you know they're even hinting at enhanced risk but that's probably overdoing it for this type of setup because there's so much rain you're going to be uh, inundated over Texas so your main main threat on Tuesday is going to be your just very heavy rain probably flash flood warnings all over the state uh, that day as you just get you know clocked all day long uh, you know as you're going into the e evening hours on tuesday going into wednesday morning again more heavy rain just moves over texas into oklahoma into arkansas going into missouri uh and then we also see down the end of the northwest here that's where we're going to be seeing our troughs is going to be starting to take shape and bringing our much colder conditions that i'm expecting uh towards uh, midweek and that'll be diving down a little bit further down to the down south as we get into the day into the overnight on wednesday as that range pushes further south into into south texas into houston where they're going to be getting some flooding rains as well and that'll that'll be extended into uh you know portions of the ohio valley but uh there's just not it just is a lot less as you go further further north so as we go into like uh, the day on Thursday, you can definitely see where that trough is going to be digging in out here where you have 50s and the 40s, even some 30s uh, showing up in, into uh, Montana where that much colder air uh, is going to be 70s pretty much in Texas, you know, 80s and 70s in New, Mex in New Mexico. You can see we're starting to heat up out, out uh, east where we're getting more or less into the 80s if not 88 degrees in, in Virginia, where those colder temperatures to the north up in Canada are 44 degrees. So as we go into the day on Friday, same deal. That system does not go anywhere. Look, it's just this conveyor belt of moisture coming out of the tropics here. Uh, so that's just going to be increasing the activity into Houston and to Austin and to Dallas and into Ar Ar uh, Oklahoma. You can see into the southeast where that ridge is going to be parked. Not much. I mean, there's probably not much rain even in the northeast all week long. So it's pretty dry where, where it's where it's going to be warmer it's going to be a lot drier as well well out east so this is just really into the central part of the u.s especially into texas and oklahoma it's just going to be clocked all week with some very heavy rain as as we go throughout the week there's your temperatures on friday we even get a little bit colder too i mean widespread 40s into uh, portions of oregon get into idaho again get into nevada that's some chilly air for this time of year for you know may the may 20 21st standards uh, you know where the rain's going to be falling uh, out here in texas i mean pretty much you know 75 degrees that's not going to be your your culprit you're just dealing with all that all that heavier rain as we start to warm up even a little bit warmer as we go into uh, Friday with some 90s popping up now out here in the Northeast, and these are some of your bigger cities. So yeah, I'm doing. I I am expecting lots of 90s to be popping up across the eastern seaboard as we get into the day on a uh, Friday. So as we go into Saturday, still same deal. That conveyor belt of moisture just keeps locked and loaded over Texas, Oklahoma, over the central U.S. This is these are kind of a sporadic snow uh, sporadic showers up here in the ohio valley but there's just again there's just not much rain to speak of up here where those colder conditions still continue diving down in from the northwest and then dry as a bell out here in, into the southeast there's your temperatures on saturday again starts to modify a little bit out here in the northwest we just heat up even further now we're talking probably mid 90s out here into virginia into the carolinas um you know as this ridge just continues to deepen so if you get you know less rain the, gr the ground starts drying out more you start to heat up and as this ridge just, just expands over into into the uh, this upcoming weekend that's when i think you're, you're really going to soar in these temperatures and it's going to start to feel like more like sudden summer out there as we go into next sunday again broken record boom conveyor belt of moisture over texas over Oklahoma, a lot of these same spots where you're where you're drier out here in the Northeast and you're still dry out here in the Southeast. So 
Um, then as we go into the day on Sunday, yeah, again, you're just going to continue to bake. That's when I think the temperature is going to be at the warmest all week long. Lots of mid-90s showing up into Georgia, into uh, portions of South Carolina, into the Virginias, going into North Carolina, all on the coast here uh, at the eastern seaboard. New York City is probably going to see their first 90-degree temperature easily uh, by then. So, yeah, there's some very warm conditions uh, going to be out here into the into the east and northeast but your big story of the week is going to be your rain. I mean, these these is just a torrential amount of rain. It's going to be set, setting up shop over Texas. I mean, here's the latest outcome from this morning all the way to next Sunday. And this is pretty much widespread across the board. Every model there is is showing the exact same thing uh, where we have a good swath of 7 to 10 inches anywhere from Houston to Austin to Dallas, getting into parts of Oklahoma City. A lot of these areas could you know, locally could be looking at double digit totals before this is all said and done. And there's probably pockets out here and say in the Woodlands area in, in you know, around Houston to pick up 15 inches of rain is easily not out of the question. Look at the look at the southeast. I mean, you can't buy a drop of rain out there. Nothing's happening all week long and the beaches are going to be packed in Florida <laughs> out here. And there's not much rain to speak of in, into the northeast. I mean, this is over a week time span. So you're talking a tenth of an inch of a quarter of it you know, sporadic spots in the Northeast, not much rainfall at all. And then here out to the Northwest, again, not much rain to speak of. So the main the main setup this week is going to be just all the flooding rains are going to be over Texas and Oklahoma and portions of Kansas and portions of uh, uh, Missouri here and Arkansas and as well as uh, Louisiana. But as you get into, uh, you know, Mississippi and going into Alabama here, not much rain to speak of. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.